Mike Channel here. Today I'm out on the bike that I'm gonna give a lucky, lucky person. Some lucky viewer is going to be the recipient of this dirt bike because it is the 2017 Sherco 300 SER and I'm giving this sucker away. All you gotta do is go over to my website, dirtbikechannel.com and uh, buy a Dirt Bike Channel t-shirt and you're entered in to win the entered into the drawing to win this bike. This is a sweet bike. Today, today I've actually got Sam with me. He's right behind me on the uh, Beta 300 RR. Both bikes are 2017s, and we're running them back to back today again up in some mountain single track here it is beautiful it's a beautiful day i'm feeling a little under the weather today I spent the last couple of days trying to get over a little bit of a, a little bit of a cold so i don't have i don't have all the energy in the world and we got stuck in a mud bog back there right at the outside of the ride i, wasn't, I didn't have anything filming but we really got stuck like to the point that we were up to the top of our boots in mud um just soupy nasty stick you stick in the ground mud and spent, spent a lot of my energy just trying to get the dang bikes out of the mud which wasn't what wasn't how i wanted to start the day with a little bit of a depleted energy level anyway but this trail is is an awesome trail i haven't taken this trail on the Sherco yet i've done this trail a number of times just not on this particular bike and the Sherco is i like it i was riding my uh, ktm 250xc the other day on uh an extension of this trail system what three days ago and um, I will say that I think the KTM has more power than this. In just a second, I'm going to find out why I think that. It's because I've accidentally bumped the map switch there by my left thumb uh, over to the soft uh, map setting. And so that's why it felt softer. Uh, once you flip that switch back to, uh, you know, full power, it certainly has every bit as much power as the, uh, as the KTM. This thing, this thing's got, this thing's got loads of power, but I think that the KTM 250XC has a little bit more bottom end. Than this, than this 300 SER. Stomp down into first. In fact, I'm going to click back second. See how we do pulling this hill up here. There's a real tight left hander right coming up. That's a tight switch back, going, and then it goes straight up the hill. Let's see if we can stay in second gear on this bike. Yes, a little bit of clutch feathering there, but it was totally fine. That's that's great. One of my favorite things about this bike is the way that it is geared from stock. For some guys, it might be a little bit high uh, gearing for some of the really tight technical stuff, and I can see how that could be, and you could easily change that. You could easily modify that with a gearing change, but I love, 
love, love, love the way that this thing is geared. For me, it just helps me to carry a little bit more momentum, a little bit more momentum, and a little bit more speed to get the good traction. And I just love the flow that I get when I'm on this. It gets real tight and steep right there. That's where the torque of a 300 comes in handy because you didn't have to shift there. On any smaller bike, well on my 250XC I'm able to do that one in second. But on most of the smaller displacement bikes, you need to punch down into first. Especially any of the uh, four strokes. Even on a 450 four stroke, you kind of need to punch down right there. I'm going to punch down in first right here. Back up to second. Standing up, sitting down, just alternating. There I'm up on the pegs. Problem is you get knocked down. There's neutral. There's first. You get knocked down because there's so many steep and scrub up that are right there along the side of the trail. Sometimes you just can't stand, otherwise you're gonna get wiped off the bike around these corners. 